What's up? What's up, Vape Fam? How you doing? Coming Welcome. On a cloud. What the hell? <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Own Kiwis. This is episode number 60 and part two of the Joe's Cloud House Tasting. What's up, Megan? How you doing, girl? Oh, my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. And that's the reason why we're late today, folks. <laughs> yes. I've been helping out my sister at her job. My sister is a owner of a construction business. And she required my assistance with some of the work. Um, my construction business, I mean, then I'm not only limited to building because that's what her partner does or her, um, yeah, her, her husband. Um, he's the builder in the in this partnership, and my sister is a um, is a painter by trade. Uh, so she's doing the painting side of this particular project that they're doing and um, yeah she got sick and had been off work for a few weeks so she fell behind so I'm trying to help her out to try and catch up on falling behind so I've been helping her out by painting and doing a bit of the prep work and all of this is happening whilst her partner and his team are rebuilding this house around us as we're doing the painting. So at the moment, we've been doing a lot of um, exterior painting work, um, trying to do all the prep and everything as they're putting the weatherboards up. So it's chaotic. It would have been nice to have pre-painted all of these weatherboards before they'd gone up. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the easy way around it. It would have been. It would have been. Um, my sister tried to pre-paint some of the really tricky stuff. The weatherboards and things wasn't tricky for her. It was more the the trimmings, like the stuff that goes around the windows and, and things. Those ones were the ones that she was more wanting to have pre-painted before they went up because once they were in, it meant that you had all these weird angles and stuff to try and get into. And you had, had to be careful not to paint the aluminium window frames because the trimmings that are going around these windows are essentially the decorative side of it to make the windows look pretty and um, yeah so those were more of her focus to try and get pre-painted rather than the weatherboards. This house is huge it is huge and it's like oh trying to get around this house on the scaffolding out there I don't I don't do heights I <laughs> <coughs> uh-huh um, <laughs> <laughs> so so climbing up and down the scaffolding is a bit sketchy for me and I'm kind of glad that the house has been wrapped up. So with the um, scaffolding being put up around the house, around the scaffolding is this massive wrap that's kind of wrapped and enclosed the house inside this, um, the scaffolding. So the higher I go, if I turn and I look at the wrap, I don't know how high I am. It's not until I reach the very top level where I can see the roof, and it's like, I'm aware how high I am. And it's like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm about three stories up. And it's like, just don't look down. And, yeah, there's been a couple of times where my sister's like, make sure you get just below the planks. And there's been a few times where I've looked down and I've had a little bit of vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> You be careful on that scaffolding, girl. Oh, you have no idea. I've had like a couple of like <laughs> where my foot has kind of just gone off like the edge, like in between two planks, because there's like a little gap, and my heel would sort of slip in it, and it gives you that sensation that you're about to fall, and you go, <gasps> ah! and it's like, yeah, that's, that's not a nice feeling. So yeah, I'm no, I'm no, sore no. all over, and I'm tired, but. I got home and dinner was ready, so I got to eat before coming on the show. So, yay. That's a yay. for me. I haven't really eaten, so if you see me, like, do a sly little nibble, I've got a bit of cake sitting just off screen. <laughs> cake. Cake. Yeah, I had bugger all in terms of um, breaks. Um, usually my sister would sort of, like, poke her head out and go, it's my guy! And I've been thinging around with headphones, listening to my music, just... Just want to get this done. 
Let me get this done. And then all of a sudden, my nephew's like, are you hungry? I was like, no, oh, I could eat. And then all of a sudden, he'd hand me out like a little toasted wrap. So here, <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, I don't need to come down. I'll stay up here then. Dong, dong, dong. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't had really much of a time to actually stop, which, and just rest. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm spent. <laughs> breathe, <laughs> darling. Just take just a spent. breath. We've got quite a few hanging with us tonight. Even given the late hour, we've got a few uh, overseas crew hanging out there. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah I, I have just seen that too. It's like, hey, what's going on here? So uh, I'm going to jump straight to the shout-outs because I am aware how late it is on the other side of the world right now, being that it is extra late for our show here in New Zealand even. So <coughs> big what's-ups and uh, vape fam loves out there to Gizzy. And, oh, uh, hey, Jamie's in the house. And we've got Jen hanging down Tamaru. Justin's hanging out. Meg's here in the house. Moses is chilling. Hey there to church, also hanging from the other side of the world, also is Link. Uh, what's up out there to Tracy? I believe Tracy's in Christchurch. And I want to say a big happy birthday out there to UW, hanging with us from Sweden. It was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Birthday, happy birthday to you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What up out there to V-Dog, Vince hanging out in Canada, and Yiddy, Yiddy in the house, also from the US. What's up, guys? Hope everybody is well and dandy, wherever they may be on the globe. Oh, look, there, there we go. He got a special request. Okay, a big shout-out to Gizzy. What's up, Gizzy? It's Stu. No, cake isn't dinner, but um, I'll have dinner later and the cake will keep me going with the sly nibbles through the show. Lemon cake, even freshly baked, so yum. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Yeah, totally. So, um, Megs, we're doing part two of Joe's uh, Cloud House, the full juice line. Oh, uh, yes. I, I had thought once I got home, it's like, okay, yeah, it'll be a nice, easy show. Oh, shit, is this juice tasting? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, what's up out there to Bob as well? Bob just dropped in. I was hanging out with Bob earlier in the vape shack. Um, well, how about we just start with what's what's in your hand right now, darling? What what are you just chilling with right now? Um, at the moment, I've got the Candy Five Six kit. Um. She's a little bit tricky. Hey, hey, hey. So I've been putting this thing through its paces whilst I've been working with my sister. So, yo, uh, yo. It's been getting thrashed. I've, I've accumulated sawdust and everything on it. And <laughs> and it's like, oh, hey, just run that off there, rinse out the drip tip, have a look inside. It's like, oh, yeah, nothing on the coils. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> it's it's. A, Hilarious. It's a pretty decent mod, which is good for like like the week that I've been doing like the past couple of weeks with my sister. <laughs> but um Don't say too much, darling. I'll just say out there to the fans, stick around whether you're a loyal audience member or you're tuning in for the first time. Me and Megs are actually gonna be doing our first ever mod review. Um our show next week will be it'd be different because it'd be a mod review show. So as opposed to the 10, 15 minutes <laughs> that, uh, sorry, reviews that you guys look for in a mod, our actual show next week is going to be all about the Kangatig AKD56, new five battery mod that's on the market. So um, come back next week if you want to hear what we've got to say. We've both been using them for a couple of weeks now. So um, yeah, got, got some thoughts on this new 5 bat baby. So we're going to talk yeah. about that next week. And as you can see, we're obviously both chilling on them, and that is our little go-between mod between the tastings this evening, I'm guessing, because I'm rocking yeah. the same as you, honey. Although, what's the juice you got in it? Juice I have in it is, let's see, focus straight away. Phantology Potions Alice. It's currently what's on the tank. Hey, that's um, a US juice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, it's <laughs> you're gonna laugh at me. 
Ha, uh, hang on, pause. I just seen Joe's in the house. What up out there to Joe, Mr. Joe's Cloudhouse himself, and he gave you a shout out. <laughs> but, but. Oh, no, I'm never gonna live that down, am I? Uh, no, <laughs> last week was so funny. Go and check out part one if you know want to know what the think uh, bits joke was all about. With uh, one of the juices we tried, Meg's made a faux pas with Pink Lady. It was quite <laughs> mute. <laughs> I was tired. I know. Like I am today. Which made it funnier. <laughs> so let's see what comes out your mouth tonight. <laughs> oh, God, I'm hoping I don't screw anything else up. <laughs> it's possible with like a couple of these names in here, I'm bound to say something wrong. <laughs> I know. So what were you going to say about that American juice, honey? Um, the, 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 the flavor profile. Oh, what did I do? It's one of your cloud sponsors. Uh, um, US juices, isn't it? It is, yes. Um, it's funny because they ended up becoming a alternative to a flavour that I really wanted to get my hands on. Um, under the same line, so Phantology Potions, I wanted to get Odin, uh, but Odin wasn't available, so I picked Alice, um, kind of thinking it was the next sort of uh, fruity vape that I may want to try completely not taking into consideration like what fruit was actually in it um <gasps> there's rock melon in it <laughs> oh there yeah, really yeah. oh bleep. it's so That's rock melony do you know i just realized sorry in the middle of you talking i didn't say hey to the lurkers oh, I forgot about the lurkers. Sorry, i'm sorry lurkers. sorry lurkers uh, apologies no disrespect, man. We appreciate the lurking. Mwah. Hey to the lurkers. And I also just spotted that Naomi strolled in the house too. So what's up, girl? <laughs> yeah, seems that she's having problems with it loading. Oh, bless. Hopefully it loads. Yeah, I had a wee buffer moment and thought our streaming was going to have a glitch. But no, no, I did a refresh and we're all G, so nothing's happened at this end. Anyway, so yeah, okay, so you're rocking uh, one of your cloud sponsors. Who have I got in mind? Actually, I'm I'm rocking a Australasian. <laughs> Australasian. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dying to use that word lately, like just out there. Um, you know how we run the NZ Dolls group for the NZ and the Oz Dolls. <laughs> I and you uh sorry not youtube uh facebook keeps asking me where's the location of your group and it wants to say new zealand or australia because it's picking up the title it won't let me put in australasia oh. <laughs> it's like damn you facebook anyway um australasian because he's a kiwi who lived in australia for a decade and uh started his business in Oz and he's come back to New Zealand and happily supplies juice to both countries now. So uh, what's up out there to Mr. Morris, Vaporize in the house. Uh, and as you can see, I've just started this bottle. I am rocking some cherry stone lime in um, my 5.6. So loves to the mo. I am digging this flav. But uh, yeah, we're all about Joe tonight. So uh, have you prepared... Uh, did you manage to get one work done for your tasting this evening, darling? You didn't even get one done. Oh, honey. No, I'm just going to try and dry them out and then just put the juice on and hope for the best. Okay. Hope for the best. So, what you, so what are you going to chuck it on? I have two setups. So I've got my Hustler and the Recoil. And on the recoil, um, I'm pretty sure I've got some Yeti coils in here. I do. I've got Yeti stainless steel aliens on this. Hey, Yeti love, Yeti coil love. And hey, what's up, what's up out there to Kirk as well? Uh, one of our wrenches just strolled in. Also one of our USA fam. And, yep. um, and the other setup that I have, I've got like the VT200 with the stainless steel goon, which also has some Yeti coils in there. Unfortunately, Yeti it's not Yeti food. There's no going food. There's no going food. No. It's fused Latin. Oh. Same that's still okay. Fused, but that's it's okay. okay. It's still Yeti love, yeah. It's still Yeti love, yeah. 
All right. Well, tonight I've done a little bit of a change around. I mixed it up. Mixed it up a little bit. Yeah. So I pulled Zim down off the shelf, my uh, Invader, Tesla Invader 3, and I put uh, my Jenny Apocalypse Gen on my Tesla. So i got the little rainbow happening on the top tonight. No. Hmm. And then so because I did the, the swappy swappy, I chucked Mr. Twisted Messes on my cue board. Ding, 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 ding. Well, it's been a while since I've used any of my Twisted Messes, any? Yeah. yeah, me too. That's why I thought I'd pull it down off the shelf. Oh. And then I have Mr. Black Goon on the house law. For a moment there, I thought you said Blabby Goon. <laughs> so we've got, yeah. we're matchy, matchy. Mr. Black Goon on the house law. Oh, the Black Goon? <laughs> You got the black goo? Um, oh no. I I oh yeah. I got my black black RDA. I think it's I think it's called a goon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was playing around with some African <laughs> accents yesterday. I don't know how I did just then, but yesterday I got it pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> if we have offended anybody, yep. we don't mean to do that. Yes. Apologies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I like doing the old little accent a accent imitation yeah. when I can get my words out right. <laughs> Alrighty. So what's first up tonight, darling? Uh, first up. Oh gosh. Okay. Before we end up like going into like the show thing, I have to give like a special shout out to Naomi. Ooh. Um. Me. Because um, she had kind of given me like a bit of a heads up that she may be looking at selling her, her dinner. And I had asked her is that if she does happen to want to sell it, let me know. I could be keen on purchasing it. And, uh, yeah, she, she hit me up straight away as soon as she was like, yeah, I'm going to sell it, and offered it to me, and I took it up. So I was like, so thank you, Naomi, <laughs> and thank you so much for the tracking number. So I was like, yeah, I'll be watching that thing like a hawk. And um, yeah, depending on where I am tomorrow, I hope I hope it arrives tomorrow, if not the next day. So yes, a special shout out. So um, so I guess better get cracking, huh? <laughs> Is it me or do I look rosy? <laughs> like my cheeks look a little bit flush. Yeah, but. It wouldn't surprise me uh, with the hot and the cold and the temperatures you've been working in and going hard and your body being exhausted, hun. You know, it's winter time. You're pushing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Big loves out there to Alexis too, who just strolled in. All righty. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my apocalypse and uh, my my zim. What juice is up first, babe? The first juice that is up. That we are tasting is strawberry milkshake. I think it speaks for itself. Check you it really shake. need a description like thing on it. <laughs> Does it have any other flavors mentioned in is it description? But in the description it says that it's a delightfully creamy with a hard hitting strawberry taste. Okay, so it's a creamy milkshake. All right, all right. Okay. Doing the shake, doing the shake. Oh, hang on, I need a... I can't even do the shake. I need a wipey here. Yeah. I might, might be lucky. Why can't you do the shake? you got sore hands. No, these bottles are pretty full. <laughs> That's true, they are. I try to shake up uh, grape energy, and it's like, there's no bubbles. And then I pulled the lid off, and it was like, Ah, stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary. <laughs> yeah, so I had a sneaky taste of the juice. Not a vape. Of which, a of which one? Grape energy. A, a taste, not a vape. Yeah, a taste. Yeah, so I, I'll have to claim that one on D's nuts as well. I had a taste of that one last night, not a vape. Um, just a couple of them. We we sometimes need to gauge where I guess in the flow of the tasting for our palate just as much as the wicks. Mm. And, uh, 
I was trying to gauge whether or not it was just a peanut butter base or, sorry, peanuts, and um, have established not, has many layers. But, yeah, I, I tasted these nuts last night. Oh, my God, there it is. I tasted these nuts last night. <laughs> <laughs> that will make a little bit more sense when we get to that e-juice in a little bit. <laughs> yes. I'm just oh, remembering please. all of the puns that that juice came, um, uh, ended up creating at yeah. the Christchurch Bake Day, like the after party. So I, I reckon you'll like these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you should put these nuts in your mouth. It's like, oh, yeah. stop it. Stop it. News. Maybe. There were so many pickup lines around that juice, Joe. Like seriously, we were just sitting around a table, coming up with <laughs> everything you could think of. It was hilarious. It was very funny. What, what I think what made it worse was that the chick that these lines were going to was just completely oblivious. To yeah, she really was. It was <laughs> as... It's like. Is like, oh no, do you not get it? <laughs> okay, never <mind. laughs> Oh, honey. Don't worry. You keep your naivety. <laughs> All right. I am a juiced up. Okay. Get ready. Hang on. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Okay, okay. I'm just going to get in there. Alexis is coming to the, in the chat. It's okay, Meg's tasted your pink bits last week too. <laughs> yes, like that. yes, yes, that's right, she did indeed. <laughs> and it was a lovely vape. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> My own pink pink bits, that's just <laughs> <laughs> Oh It was her pink bits, not mine. <laughs> like, oh yeah. no. That chat box is lively as ever tonight. All right. Hit that. Yum. That's simple. That's what it is. A nice strawberry creamy milkshake. That's a uh that's not an overly sweet strawberry, that's quite a fruity strawberry, not not so much candied or cherry ripe. Well, I like that Joe. Actually makes me think like type smoothie flavouring. Like you've made a fruit smoothie at home. Like it's a, a nice, it's light, a little bit tart on the strawberry even. I'm liking that. Creamy there in the middle and then just like a finish of the whole mouthful, a creamy milkshake on the exhale. That's that's what I'm vibing down. What's your take? So my take might be a little bit difficult because I've been outside. My nose is kind of blocked, so... Half of my senses are kind of not really in tune, if that makes any sense. I can definitely make up the creaminess and the sweetness of the strawberry. But without my sense of smell, I'm unable to sort of like completely break it down, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Out there in chat, link, darling, link. If you mix pink bits and these nuts, what do you get? And Joe's response is demon semen. <laughs> no longer available on his line. <laughs> awesome, Joe. Oh, nice. No. Yeah, that's pretty much, it is what it is. Um, I'm getting, it's light, it's summery, it could easily be an all-day vape if milkshake. Um, it's not heavy on the creamy, it's not too milky. It's, it's nicely balanced, Joe. Mm. Mm. So yeah, um, it's usually like the, um, the creamy vapes and a lot of the custard ones, um, I, I get a bit turned off by them. Um, mm. you can have like that first vape and you can taste it and you go oh yeah that tastes quite nice and then when you try to take, um, vape it a little bit more 
your, your taste buds kind of go, eh, I don't want that anymore, <laughs> and starts to reject it. <laughs> um, there's some nice balance. This isn't one of them. Mm-mm. So if you vibe strawberry, if you vibe milkshake, profile is very self-explanatory of what this is going to deliver to you. If this is your jam, strawberry, milkshake, yum. Joe, that's that's nice. You know, that's not too heavy. I'm digging that. So we just dry out our waxily wee bit before we move on to the next wee darling. I think everyone is doing well and uh, either keeping warm or cool, wherever you may be, across the globe, the fams. I'm going to start shaking the next one, actually. <laughs> and the next one is called uh, Creamy Cream. I read, I read it. <laughs> you did read it. We were making jokes that which one that uh, Megan's going to faux power on this week, Joe. <laughs> I thought it, it may have been this one. <laughs> it may have been possible. <laughs> gonna come out creamy cum oh there i said it oh my <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> i don't think it quite would have come out like that <laughs> <laughs> oh hilarious <laughs> okay so while we're shaking that up i'm just going to say what the description is of creamy cream so creamy cream is cream Topped with cream with a hint of strawberry. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> cream topped with cream with a hint of strawberry. <laughs> well, you can see why we float this one on next from the strawberry milkshake. Hang on. You, can, you, you can make sense of our, our order. <laughs> oh. From the one nostril that can actually smell. <laughs> creamy, creamy. Okay. Juice in a wrap. Mm. You see that Joe has walked in. What's up, Joe? Hey, Miss Joe. How you doing, doll? Hope you're doing well, keeping warm, honey. Oh, I totally hit that. What does that remind me of? Big loves, UW. Hope you have a great day, whatever you're up to, and uh, hope you had a happy birthday, honey. He's having connection issues, so he's bailing out a live chat. Keep well, and we'll see you next time, my dear. Right, okay, I have just up some creamy cream. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's, mmm. Oh, that's making me think of cupcakes, like strawberry icing. Okay, I already have like a, a scent coming to me. <clears throat> Hit that shit. <laughs> I, feel like, I, mean, I feel like we need to play music every time I say that. DJ, spin that track. <laughs> yeah, that's fully what I'm thinking of, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Eight mile. <laughs> hey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Um, creamy cream. Cream topped with cream with a hint of strawberry. That's the profile for this guy, and that is exactly what it's delivering. We have one type of cream coming through on the inhale. I'm getting another layer. I'm, I'm feeling like a Bavarian versus a whipped, but I'm not quite picking which is which. But you can definitely taste the cream layering difference. And then that strawberry subtle and that's coming through on that exhale. So it is, again, exactly what Joe says he's delivering to you. A creamy with cream on top with a bit of strawberry. Just with a little bit of strawberry in the background. Just a little bit. Just a touch. Mm, this, and it's not heavy. So it lives usually what puts me off those creamy vapes is because they're so heavy. Yeah. It's not heavy. Like, no, it's, not. Um, 
So heavy can mean two things when you're making juice. A, the type of cream used, so which concentrate, and B, the amount of mm. any concentrate. So, you know, it could be the lightest cream that you've ever tasted out there, but if you put too much percentage of it in your recipe, then it still may come may come through heavy. So, you know, it, mixology and juices, it really is about balance. They are recipes. They, you know, do take trial and error. It's uh, Everybody thinks they can be a juice maker, and some have natural talent, and some have succeeded by learning, but it's not everyone's jam, eh? And, um, Joe, your layers, your your percentages, your your balance is coming through lovely, honey. It's lovely. Every time I fail to show these bottles, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm just going to bring these up it's really quickly. So this was the first one that we tried, uh, strawberry milkshake. There we go. She's the one with the fancy camera, so. And the one that we've just tasted just now. Oh, what's happened? I must have put my uh, put the bottle down on the laptop a little bit wrong. And the one that we're currently just tasted is creamy cream. Creamy cream. So of course, guys, Joe's description. Uh, sorry, uh, website is down in our mm. description. If you want to have a look through the flavor profiles as well, while we taste through them. Um, come on, on autofocus. Creamy cream, and uh, I see we've got a few Joe's Cloudhouse fans out in the house talking about their various favourite flavours in the live chat as well. And um, who did I see? Who said that? Who said that? Jamie. Yeah, someone had said that they were vaping on psycho syrup. Yeah, Jamie. Kind of funny because that's the yeah. next juice that we are about to try. <clears throat> hang on, hang on. We're just going to have a wee little... I'm gonna I'm gonna bake this work out a little bit, and we're gonna have a wee little break for a few minutes before we roll on to the next juice. And we're gonna break. remind you. That. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna have a mouthful of coffee. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna dry this out a bit, and I'm gonna murder a coffee right now. I wish I had time to make one. Oh, bless. Um, remind everybody, of course, two things. First and foremost. Mr. Joe Swart, I, ooh, I hope I am saying your name right, honey, um, is opening a Joe's Cloudhouse B&M in Dunedin coming up in August. He hasn't put an exact date on yet, but keep an eye out on his Facebook page and or his website, and he'll be putting out details of when there will be the grand opening of Joe's Cloudhouse B&M. And that will be, hang on, I'm going to get it right this week, 108 Prince's Street, Dunedin. Let me know if I got that right, Jack. <laughs> so that's coming up soon. Whether you're local to Dunedin or you're travelling through and uh, wondering where all the B&Ms are at in the South Island, there are a few popping up here and there now. And Joe will be one of those coming out real soon, guys. So August isn't too far away, actually. And um. Hey, Vivi V in the house. What's up, Very Vocal Vapors? That is Miss Christine. Hey. Vape the vape. How you doing, darling? I was chatting with Chris earlier over at the Vape Shack as well. Um, uh, and the other thing, the giveaway. So last week we did part one of Joe's Cloudhouse juice line. Mm -hmm. First six, so we're doing five today, and the first six we did last week in part one. So if you want to check out what the other six flavors are like, you aren't hearing about today go and check out that that's episode 59 on the um kiwis playlist on my channel um that giveaway is uh for two winners sorry guys this is new zealand only also got to state that new zealand only contestants apologies but it is what it is every vendor is different and uh joe wants to keep it in-house and that's all so uh, if you guys go over Wow. That was a loud car. <laughs> I think it was a motorcycle, I think. Motorbike? Is he gone? <laughs> yeah. Funny. Um, He's taking his so time going go down up, the road, though. Jesus. Yeah, I can still hear him. <laughs> Funny. 
Um, if you go over to part one, which is last week's episode, and put your entry in if you are a New Zealand uh, vape community member um, for two, uh, there will be two winners. So each prize pack, each winner will receive five 50 mils of winner's choice across the juice range. So you get to pick five flavors off the juice range, which is 11 total. And, um, yeah, you will get five 50 mils. So it'll be two New Zealand winners picked. We will draw that next week. So the review show for the Kangatech AKD 5.6 will be also the winner announced for the two winners for Joe's Cloudhouse. So head on over to part one and want you to put in the hashtag entry Cloud Kiwiana, or one word, Cloud Kiwiana. Going to put that out in live chat as well. Cloud Kiwiana. And that is obviously a reference to Joe's Cloud House and Kiwiana was one of the juices that we tried last week, a Kiwiana milkshake. And um, it's just one of those little things to make sure you guys are listening when you actually watch the show as to what those entry hashtags are. So, and of course, put um, that you're a New Zealand resident. You don't necessarily have to say where an NZ you are, but please tell me you're an NZ so that when we do the drawing next week, so you've got still got another seven days to enter. Um, so when we do the drawing next week, we know that you're an NZ, that you're a Kiwi and your entry is all G. So still got another seven days for that, guys. Two winners. That'll be exciting. Next week while we're talking mods, we'll announce those winners. Yeah, and all entries go on the first, like, part one. Is that right? All entries head on over to part one. So that is the only video we will take entry names off to do that draw from. Do not enter. Episode 59. Yeah, 59. Do not enter on this video, guys. Head on over to episode 59 to put that entry in. And uh, I just spotted Joe out there in chat saying he does ship internationally. This particular giveaway is for really? him. Coming back, I, I I hope you heard that over the motorbike, guys. Um, Joe does ship internationally. He has international clients, and that's all G. Uh, but yeah, the giveaways for our NZ fam. So all G's. Hey, I just spotted Nick rolled in the house. What's up, Elmo? Hey, Nick. All right. Okay. So have my wee ramble. A little break, got the deets out, got the deets out. Who's next? Hey, psycho. Psycho syrup. I'm going to change mods <laughs> too. Swapping mods. <laughs> I know, right? Every time. I, was, was that done on purpose, Joe? Like every time pe anyone was to pick up psycho syrup that they get that song in their head? da 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 Psycho killer. Right. Nobody else even knows the words. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Nobody even oh, knows the words, what? do they? Except that, you know, there are two, wo two words, I should say. It's not even a sentence. <laughs> oh, I'm lost now. Who's coming to see me? Hey, what? Uh, pass. Oh, okay. No, Chris, Chris, you haven't missed that part. I haven't mentioned that yet. <laughs> I may do now that she's strolled in. Um, what's up out there to another Joe, Joe Kenyon, who strolled in as well. Yeah, who's coming to see Mix? So, okay, while I'm just dripping this up, so Psycho Syrup, before we go into the profile, I'll just explain a wee little oh, the funny. Motorcycle. That's what I'm assuming. I'm, I'm going to get that. I'm assuming it's that. Oh, yeah, you're probably <laughs> right, actually. Yeah, you are probably <laughs> right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain a wee little funny that's been going on out there today in uh, international vape land. You've been at work, Meg, so you've been missing all the fun. <laughs> oh, what? Well, you know how we're on these different time zones with, with the crew over there and different things happen at different times of the day. There's a thing going around at the moment on Instagram. 
the males are feeling left out of the vape modelling world. They, a, they can model if they want. But. No, 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 no. There's a few of the crew, uh, as in Vaporium, Vape Shack, YouTube, you know, all the, the associated, there's just a handful of the boys yeah. who've been putting up piss take photos, mock photos of the vape girls. Um, <laughs> I want to see these photos. Currently, our crew have kept their clothes on, but there are some under these hashtags who have taken it to the extreme. And you guys know the vape modeling shots I'm talking about. Them girls that really need to go put a sweater on. Um, now, you oh, guys yeah. know I love my Instagram and you guys know I love my selfie and I take a lot of vape shots too. However, if you've always noticed, or I would like to hope you've noticed, except for maybe summer when it's damn hot, I'm one of them girls who likes to keep my cleavage under my shirt. Now, not all them girls do, and it's fine, and they've got fabulous bodies and they're making money and all G. So the boys are having a wee laugh, and we've got the bearded men with the duck faces and the vape and the bottle strategically placed, and there's a whole little funny funny going on. Um, so we have hashtag vape models and the men are starting to come up under this hashtag where all the girls normally are and we have hashtag male vape models. Of course, all these are one word with the tags on Instagram and then we have on our, please, someone out there, Chris, correct me if I get it wrong, hashtag male vape man whores. <laughs> I do hope I got Hashtag duct tape. Uh, it really is something hilarious. And there are a few of our crew out there in chat who have been partaking in those photos. Um, yeah, it, oh, it's I'm, just I'm a bit of fun. Sure it's just a bit of fun and, and you know, no offense intended. And there are plenty of legitimate male vape models, of course, all, all genders, sexes, whatever identification you whatever you, oh, I hate the word label, but, you know, whatever you're titling, there you go. Um, yeah, there, there is plenty of, of this going on, but, uh, of course, this is just a wee laugh, and it is quite hilarious. So check out those tags over on Instagram if you want to have a wee lull at some of the YouTube boys. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone, someone out there, Yeti, Giz, one of the boys, can you, like, double-check me on that? Uh, Manhorse hashtag, please. I do want to get that one. I have to agree with you, Joe. I do want to get that one. Keep clothing on. Just keep the clothing. Oh, hang on. I'm. Ladies. Just like, yes. Just no. Yeah. Keep clothing, ladies. Yes. I agree. Actually, Don't to, to just... get naked. <laughs> <laughs> To answer Joe Kenyon's question, yes, a lot of them actually are bearded men because a lot of bearded men vape. So not all of them, of course, but, um, yeah, that, that's just answering her question. All right, so that's <laughs> we funny. So we've been having a wee laugh this afternoon over in, in the vape shack. And <laughs> that's where a lot of my vape side track. Yeah, we've got male vape Maybe. models. And there's, um, yeah, there were three hashtags that we discovered in the end, uh, and there is a few of the boys getting in on this. So it's just a, just a wee laugh. Anyway, I am wicking up. Juice number three, tell us about it, Megs. Juice number three is called Psycho Syrup. In Psycho Syrup, the description says, with a blast of sugar going straight to your head, everything seems so much more exciting. Well, the Psycho Syrup is most definitely what you get. It has a massive hit of crazy caramel and a hint of creamy cheesecake to calm things down. Definitely smell the caramel. Mmm, a caramel cheesecake. Joe, I'm intrigued. Go and hit it. Oh, I've got the burps. Yeah, you hit it. I'm still just giving this wick some love. Caramel cheesecake. Okay. I wonder if this is a, a baked New York type cheesecake or a graham cracker. See, I'm already thinking about concentrates and layers. Okay. 
Can't quite pick up. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> oh, what's going on out there? Is there skinny oh, jeans, male rompers, man buns, now male vape models. Just go ahead and chop the twig and berries off and be done with it. <laughs> oh, church. You're so old. <laughs> you're not far wrong, darling, but you're so old school. <laughs> Bless. Oh, and I've... <coughs> Here we go. Okay, so you just hit that, didn't you? Yep. Uh, what did I do with the bottle? What did you just hit that at? Wattage. Uh, 100 on a 0 0.14. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. I'm hitting 85 watts on a 0.3 coil. I'm, I'm got a high one mm. in this build because I normally have this RDA on my Tesla, on my invader. Oh, what is that? Okay, so there's a nice. I like that. Not sickly. There's a nice caramel inhale. And it's yeah, almost caramel. almost getting a touch of praline there in the mid layer, but it's not praline, it's like the melding of the layers. And then what is that cheesecake you've used, Joe? Mmm. That's not graham cracker, that's not New York baked. That may be one I haven't tried in a while, although in saying that I haven't had a good cheesecake in a while. Oh, actually, I might turn that up. I'm going to turn that up. Let's see what 90 watts does for me. I really want to see how sweet this caramel hits. Oh, that is a lovely blend. That's not a heavy dessert. That's not a heavy dessert. I think I was expecting quite a bottom note in whichever cheesecake was that back layer. That's really mm. nice. I'm even gonna take it up higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna head to you, baby. I'm gonna hit hundred watts. I haven't hit hundred watts on my cuboid in a while. But I am rocking quite a higher ohm on this build, uh, mm. on this RDA. And I'm just like feeling out the light. Yeah, I and am I'm feeling out the light. I'm just going to pull out my makeshift uh, vape mat. <laughs> feeling out the layers and of course you always want to have a play around with your wattages if you use a regulated device and find that sweet spot where you like to taste a juice, you know. Oh, yeah, hot. Nah, that's a bit hot for me. That's a bit popcorn-y out there. <laughs> popcorn-y? Well, it popped and it gives me a fry and it's hot. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, it, popcorn -y. That, That's just what I call it because the pop that happens on the juice when all of a sudden it goes... <laughs> Ninety five is good. Mm. Oh yeah, this that caramel. Yeah, ninety five is good. That leaves that leaves a nice caramel on the lip after on the exhale. Are you getting that? Like a nice sweetness just on the lip. I might have to bump my um. Which means I need to redrip again. Oh no. I'm impressed, Joe. I wasn't actually expecting to be quite so intrigued by a caramel cheesecake. I'm going to try this at 120. 120. 120 even. That. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I forgot I'd locked it. So. I must say, like, off juices that I don't normally purchase for myself, 
you know, the flavors that I pick for me and these ranges that we get sent for to taste, to tell you guys all about it. Um, there's so many, like this one. Upon reading, I wouldn't necessarily purchase it because automatically I, I always go to candies and fruits, but you guys know that. And mm. it's not I, the same like with just fruits. And then when they come to us and we discover something that we wouldn't have tried otherwise, yum. You know, those are the surprises I like. Those are the ones where you're going, shit, man, like, might have to actually look at other categories. Oh no, other categories. That get that gives you too much range. I'm gonna get overwhelmed by juices because I looked at another category. Bakery. Oh no. Bakery actually comes to us quite a bit, so I'm not sure I'll be doing that. But fuck yes, this bakery. But is it bakery? Is it dessert? Is it both? Caramel cheesecake. Yum, Joe. Mm. I'm yum, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. All right, what's going on out in chat, lovelies? <laughs> They're still talking about Instagram. <laughs> Instagram and the Tesla. Yeah, that's like hilarious. Maxie was saying that she has has the black one but hasn't used it for a while, and it's like I use it. Like I literally said in the comments that I use it. But um, yeah, for Maxie, the Admiral has taken top spot as the favorite mod to use. So I was like, hashtag Admiral is life. I love my Admiral. Um, I love my broadside. They're both such fantastic. I've, I've never had so much fun with a tube mod in such a long time until those mods came along. But the broadside and the admiral had just I would actually agree with that. Like oh my God. it's not it's not just the fact that we know the guy and his mate. Brandon really has brought out a quality product to now quality products to the yeah. world. And, and that's they're affordable. Before, you know, uh, sorry, after his box mods. So, you know, he's been being been 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 being. He's, been, he's been making mods. Yeah, been being bringing out mods to the world for a few years now. Oh my god, there we go. Blah. <laughs> that, the dude who made the broadside and the admiral, this is one of his box mods. I've had this <laughs> since early 2016. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous box mod. This is a PWM series box mod, and I had this glued to my hand when it arrived. I used it religiously. Um, I got a little worried um, at first because it was the first series mod that I ever purchased, um, and I hadn't built higher than point two in a long time when that mod came um so that one it would be just a um so he'd mentioned that you don't build lower than 0.3 on it um so yeah so i always hit for around the 0.3 to 0.35 mark uh when using that mod and i loved it i loved it to buggery until the next big thing come out and then it's it sits on my shelf here on my desk, so it's still there so that I see it. And yeah, it's it was one of my favorite box mods for a long time, a long time. I'll be getting one made soon. Yes, Brandon, soon. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna drop the next one, honey. All right. So the next one is Dude's nuts. <laughs> He's nuts in the house, Joe. He's nuts. Oh, yeah. Shit camera. Hey, Mark. Something came in the mail today. What? He's nuts. He's nuts. <laughs> 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 okay, so <laughs> the description of these nuts is this juice is like eating a bag full of your favorite nuts. The extreme knockout you will get from having these nuts in your mouth. 
will melt you to the ground. <laughs> Do you want these nuts in your mouth? Yeah, these nuts in your mouth. Do you not? All right. So this is actually quite a popular one of Joe's, and I know many people who love these nuts. Yep. There's no way you can say it without it sounding filthy because it's the way Joe knows it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have drip these nuts. I'm on the keyboard again. I'm going to hit it at 90 watts this time. I have to turn my one back down to 100. <laughs> Joe's like, my nuts, my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> We're hitting these nuts. <laughs> All right. These nuts. These nuts. Ooh, Joe. Oh, that, that's got okay. some layers to it, doesn't it? I'm going up. I am going up to 93. I'm going to step this one a little bit. I dripped that right on top of like psycho syrup. Those two together are so nice. <laughs> yeah, my cotton was uh, dry from psycho syrup, but I can't just taste it in the background. They do very well together. But I'm getting. Um, Okay, I can, I can taste lots of nuts going on and it's hard to actually <laughs> this one, this one. Yeah, there is no way that I'm going to be able to say any of what I've got to say without it just sounding like filth pouring out. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, touch a peanut. Mm. Is there walnut in there? Mm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out like what the other nuts are because it's like... Is, is, I'm not getting... Yeah, I think it might be a touch of hazelnut. I'm not getting pistachio. I'm not getting a Brazil nut. Is there almond in there? Oh, my God. Like, how much did I drip that? Joe, that has layers. This is a, a scroggin. It's like, um, if you guys don't know what scroggin is, uh, oh, in the States, you guys call it trail mix. Uh, it usually has maybe seeds or raisins or currants or dried fruit in the mix with it, but you'd have multiple different types of nuts. Over here in New Zealand, we have many types of trail mix. We call it scroggin and, uh, you know, variant, all sorts of variant combos, and one of them being just a bag of, oh, my God, every sort of type of nut except maybe a couple of the expensive ones like a pistachio. Not tasting cashew in it. Not tasting cashew. Um these nuts has layers. All them layers, Joe. <laughs> mm. I'm very surprised. I have to admit, Joe, I was nervous. Um, mainly because I kind of associate a nutty flavoured um, juice to a tobacco. Like a, to a tobacco juice. Mm. A, a lot of our tobacco juices have that nutty flavour, and this is different. This is definitely different. You, it's not like a tobacco nutty flavour. It's like like the description says, a bag full of nuts. <laughs> yeah, it is a bag full of nuts. I'm just reading through all the hilarious <coughs> on the chat there. Um, if you like nuts, if you're not allergic to nuts, because even some synthetic or extracted flavorings, um, you may still be actually allergic to if you're allergic mm. to the whole thing. So just stay away from them. It's safer yes. for you and for the vendor. Um, if you have a nut allergy, don't. You don't. Mm. No, I mean, we're just don't saying it's risk. safer than sorry. You know, don't take that risk because um, you just don't know how that flavoring has been extracted or if it is synthesized and, you know, you just don't know. Don't take the risk. So if you've got enough nut allergy, this one is not for you. But if you dig these nuts, mm -hmm, if you dig the nuts, this one is, is a jam I'm sure you'll like. And like we said before, because we've just drip psycho syrup, they go really well on the work together, but I can taste, I'm getting like, yeah, four, maybe five different nut layers. 
Joe, how many nuts you got, bruv? <laughs> <laughs> He's got all the nuts. <laughs> Mm. Okay, yeah. I'm very surprised. Oh, no, that one was a cut. Yeah. So, I hope everybody is lovely out there. There's quite a few peeps hanging. Hanging, hey. Yeah, oh, moist. Maxi. <laughs> moist. These nuts is moist indeed. <laughs> Oh, actually, and I bet you that's why you did like these nuts. It's like just to be able to say to people, "Come on, you know you want my nuts in your mouth." <laughs> can you just yeah, a can you just remind us out there, Joe, seeing as you're in chat, uh, the PG VG ratio of your juices for the peeps, please? Um, you haven't marked it on the bottles that you gave us, but seeing as you're out there, you can answer that. Um, I was just looking at cloudage, the plumage that comes off these, and I'm sure I said it last week what it was, but I can't recall right this minute. I mean, um, look at my room. I mean, come on. Yeah. She, I'm in a larger space than Meg's is, and Meg's is going to door shut and what have you, and even I'm getting vapey in my little corner. There is some nice plumage that comes out of this. Is there a dominant nut? Do you taste, well, what nut do you taste that, that seems to come out that really shines through? Oh, that's hard. That's hard. <coughs> the me, nuts, me? the nuts is hard. Um, it's sort of hard because you can you actually get a mouthful of bag of nuts. Like you stuck your hand in the scrogan or the trail mix, and you went up and shoved the whole lot in your mouth, like you do with skittles if you're into the whole rainbow at once. You know, like it's sort of that type of balance, like. Yeah, uh, maybe the hazelnut by a touch, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, for me, uh, like the the most prominent flavour that I was getting was something that was like a hazelnut. And those so juices. Are PG like, ratio seventy. Yeah, seventy thirty VG. <coughs> so um. Oh. Yeah, seventy thirty. You got a heck away. Great clouds, uh, yeah. I, I, it, not by much, Moses. Like we're just answering a question out from out in chat. Not by much, but I'd say the hazelnut could dominant nut, but not dominant in the way that some layers are. Like it, I, I, it's the only way I can think of describing it. You've done really well with balancing on this one for actually so many flavours coming through, Joe. Um, it really does taste like you stuck your hand in the bag and you put like several different types of nuts in your mouth all at once and you're getting, you know, each chew is churning them around <coughs> and each chew is giving you different uh, different taste buds hitting a different nut in your mouth and you're getting different one mouthful is giving you different layers. So, you know, it's that sort of vibe I'm getting off this vape. And, um, yeah, these nuts, get some in your mouth, yo. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Yeti, Yeti, are you going to try some Joe? Yeah, Joe takes PayPal. Most of our vendors take PayPal in New Zealand, actually. Um, if I haven't already said that before, apologies. Most of our New Zealand vendors that you guys hear us talk about, if you're on the other side of the globe and you want to give one of these guys a go, um, yeah, most of them do accept the PayPal. And um, most, if not all, vendors oh, that we have on our show uh, do ship internationally as well. So that'd be cool if you try some Joe's Cloudhouse Yeti. That'd be awesome. Oh, and uh, Vince, are you out there? V-Dog, are you still hanging? Um, Russ said that he would send out your prize <coughs> tomorrow. <coughs> They've had a lot of sickness going on in their house and getting those winner's prizes out. Uh, that's 44 South Liquids. Getting those winner's prizes out from the birthday show that we did has been a little bit delayed. So apologies to all of those winners. Um, I have all of the New Zealand tracking numbers to 
find out after the show. I've got them all. And Vince, I'll have a tracking number for you tomorrow, um, which I'll probably have to send you via the email. And, yeah, uh, that should be with you real soon, honey. So apologies from 44 South that that has been delayed, but those prizes are on their way. Um, yes, yeah, so, right. What's next? Hey, we've only got one more. Yes. Lucky last. Grab energy. Grab energy. So. Grab energy. <laughs> oh joe i was trying i was really trying um i just got a kudos out there from one of our nz dolls joe for big outs for describing the juice without losing my shit and laughing all over the place so <laughs> believe me the things that were the lines that were running through my head while i was doing that i was working on the straight face <laughs> <laughs> Funny, funny indeed. All right. So, great energy. Last one on the line. Lucky number 11 of Joe's entire juice line. Mm -hmm. no. And great energy. Uh, the description says great energy gives you a kick of grape with a burst of energy drink in one with a sweet yet tangy taste. You will love. Okay. So, a great energy drink. Tangy great energy drink. Cool. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit right now this was the first and one of two juices that I had tried prior to the juice line so I actually do know what this tastes like um and if you like sherbinator this will probably be up your realm is what I'm gonna say prior I'll do I'll do the things I'll do the things for you guys but I, I do like this one it tastes like oh it smells like um and it's what I like one I know I already like I should say because I've had it before I was already devoured a bottle of it thanks cuz <laughs> shout out going out to Tommy Hunter who gave me that bottle of grape energy <laughs> that's when I was up welly last mm, I was gonna say didn't you try it here I didn't get a chance yeah. to try it I, um there was something else that had had that rock melon taste in it and I was like what what the no no. Oh, it would have, if it had that rock melon, it was the demon semen. Which is the juice no longer on the line because Joe's working on the recipe. Mm. He's pulled it from the line because it's a work in progress, which is all G. Sometimes that happens. Okay. Ah, oh, what is going on with this working? Okay, so great energy drink. Are you already hitting that, Megs? Yep. Yeah. And what's your vibes, darling? You go straight into you because I, I already know what this one tastes like. Hmm. The grape taste that I get is like the grape bubba bubba. That's what it's. I'm, I'm getting that kind of reminiscent sort of flavoring from that. Because it completely threw me back to where I was a kid. And it's like, ha -da -da -da. yeah, so that's the scent that's coming off the coil as well, the great hubba bubba y type flavouring, which I guess is like just a, a grape tangy bubblegum sort of type candy for you guys overseas. Hubba bubba is a brand name of a bubblegum that we had in the 80s. It's still around. I know that my sister's kids, um, like daughters in particular, um, used to buy it quite a bit. But they would be in their weird roll, so that they'd be like a long strip that's been rolled up, and you kind of pull it out and you kind of break, it, like cut it off. And it's kind of yeah, it's got like a little, in a container, a little container. I didn't realize it was still around. Cool. So I've actually turned myself up to 85 for that grape to come through stronger. So the grape is there. It's tang. It does remind you of the old school tangy style grape bubblegum, not overly sweet. So that's why we're saying tang, not overly sweet. Um, strong on the grape, 
this grape on the lip on the exhale. Uh, the energy drink is there with a tartiness and a zang, sort of the middle layer, and which melds with that tang that is just there on the inhale with the grape. And then, yeah, it's just like a, a solid blend of both coming out on the exhale. Like it, it is what it says it is. It's a grape energy drink. So, you know, energy drink's a bit zesty. This particular grape's got a bit of tang. This has got a bit of spice in your life. So if you already like Shubanita on Joe's line, which we tried last week on episode 59, um, where the giveaway entries are on the episode last week's, um, the, uh, yeah, if you already dig Shubanita and you haven't tried grape energy, I have, it, it's different because it's not a Shubit, but um, you'll, you'll dig it. It's in the same vibe. Mm. Oh. Mm. What? What's happened? Oh no, I was just seeing talk about Hubba Bubba and you know somebody else was saying as well that it was still around. But I don't know, Moses, if it's American. I'm unsure of that. I just know it as a brand name. I've no clue where it's come from. Um yeah, grape energy. Winning. That is a great one to go out on, actually, uh, to end the line on, I must say. So just to repeat those details from earlier, guys, um, last week's episode, number 59, is part one of Joe's Juice line. So go back and have check out the other six flavors that we've already done. We did five tonight, so being total 11, the whole line, and go and enter in the competition two nz winners so it's a new zealand only competition will receive two uh, well, a pack each so two winners uh, of 550 mil of your choice out of the line so um yeah go over and enter on that hashtag cloud kiwiana and your and right new zealand or your location in new zealand it doesn't really matter but as long as we know that you are a kiwi so yeah that's that's the giveaway that's up for grabs seven more days to enter i did the five again because my mod was on my hand seven more days to enter guys <laughs> and we can draw that on next week's show on the review show so um yeah, get in on it. If you want to try some Joe's Cloud House uh, for all of our international fam who can't enter the giveaway, Joe does ship internationally. Uh, so, yeah, go and check him out. He's well-priced as well. And believe me, for the US crew, the New Zealand dollar is in your favour. <laughs> And of course, Joe is opening the BM in August as well. 108 Princes Street, Dunedin Central. So that'll be really cool to have another BM going on down south as well for everybody who cruises through. And then there's a lot of people that roll through Dunedin. And of course, we've got Vaporium down there, but it's always cool for there to be options for everybody. What's going on out there that's got your attention, Mix? I'm just trying to catch up on some of the chat. So, are you looking forward to this um, review that we're doing next week? Yes, I am, because it's our first. I mean, granted, I've had times where I've spoken about products that I've purchased before, but it's never been like a full-on review. Granted, although during those times when I have talked about said products, that I've given my opinions, my pros and cons on those products. Because um, one that sticks out for me where I had actually mentioned a whole lot of cons was the Limitless LMC 200. I still have that mod, and I don't use it because I don't like it. Terrible. Oh, terrible. <laughs> well, 
we do have, you know, I'm going to say it straight. We already know that we do have a few pros and cons to talk about with this mod. Mm -hmm. And obviously this review will be different for everybody. It's going to be a little bit different for us as a show because our first actual review and um, we're making it our show. So, you know, we're not squishing a whole lot of information into 10, 20 minutes uh, to give you guys the short version like all of the many other reviews that are out there on YouTube. Just keeping it to our style, we like do it different to what everybody else is up to. And yeah, so we've got our whole show, our whole two hours to actually really break down and tell you guys about how using this mod has been for us. So that's going to be really cool and yeah, different for us, different from you. And um, I think it's just going to be awesome in general to break it down because it's a new product that not many people actually know about. So it's information that folks are looking for as well. It's not just the same old of every product that's already been done before. Not, not that there's anything wrong with any other reviews, but, you know, it is changing it up a little bit, really. Are you fishing for subsea gizzing? Yeah, he actually <laughs> I've, I've already okay. subscribed to you. Yeah. Any, any okay, I'll, I'll throw it out there. So our friend Gizzy Gizzy Chu out in Chad is doing a giveaway over on his channel, and um, yeah, he's just gonna get a few more subs, like three more, I think he just said, and um, go on over and sub to Gizzy and get in on an awesome giveaway. There's actually lots of prizes. It's really cool. Uh, there's there's shows, there's mods. Uh, Dawn, uh, Dawn, uh, Dawn is, I believe, the main sponsor of the giveaway. Oh, correct me if I got that wrong, Gizzy. Um, he was talking about it earlier today on The Fog, which that episode, today's episode, is on Fresh's channel. Um, that was early, screened earlier on this afternoon here in New Zealand. Uh, yeah, so if you guys aren't already subbed to Gizzy, go over and do that because it's a really awesome giveaway. And um, obviously, if he's waving frantically arms in virtual world at me, then that's an international giveaway. And all you Kiwis should get in on it because it's some good stuff. So, yeah, he only needs three. But, you know, we'll, we'll give you a pile of Kiwis. There you go, Gizzy. Love you. <laughs> yeah. And all we ask for in return is for people to make such a our show. Oh yeah, make sure you give us the like love of the sun. <laughs> you know, you're handing it out to my mates. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> we scratch your back, you scratch ours. <laughs> Actually, is that all we have to do to get in on the giveaway, so um Gizzy, is to sub to you? I just want to double check that. That is the criteria. Because um, I'm I know I'm already subbed, but just checking there aren't any more steps that we need to do. Because mm. it is an awesome one. So um, just saying. Oh yes, oh, it's the content. Oh, I'll I'll, do, I'll continue the plug, is there? I'll I'll continue the plug. So hang on, I got to remember the day. So it's Friday night in the US. So Saturday afternoons here in New Zealand, um, Giz and Leifa are going to be starting up a new show and they're going to bounce back and forth between Giz's channel and Leifa's channel, uh, sort of like how the fog bounces around the voice channels and they all share hosting. Um, they're starting up a new show. It's called Hashtag Fog Life. With the Y, not the I, hashtag Fog Life. And it's going to be, yeah, just just a cool show, boys hanging out. And there's a few of the American shows that run in a row here in New Zealand on our Saturday afternoons, if you weren't already aware. And, um, you know, if you are, you probably see me out and chat quite often because I hang with the crews on Saturdays. Um, yeah, and I try to whenever I can. So it'll be uh, Gizzy and Leifa's show. Even with the odd appearance, don't we, Mums? And yeah, a, and <laughs> then Fresh's show, and then Tommy's show. So um, yeah, Giz and Leifa will be the first one on on the Friday night run with the US crew. And I say that because it's Friday night for them, and that's why they have a whole lot of shows in a row. So everybody is YouTube entertained in vape land for the evening. And um, yeah, so that's Saturday here in the US, uh, in the NZ. 
<laughs> Friday, Friday night for the US. What have I got all wrong? What's wrong? Hang on. He said I got it wrong. What did I get wrong? Enlighten me what I got wrong then. Oh, I have to watch a link? Is it not just subs? Is there something we do on a link? I do possibly have it wrong then because I did miss part of today's show. So apologies of what I've said wrong, Gizzy. Please tell me. What I think Yeti shared the link. Oh! Ah! Oh, did That's you click on it? Me. Okay. <laughs> it's me. I opened the link. Apologies. You subscribe for content, not for a giveaway. Ah, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, apologies. the content. Of how I said that, Gizzy. Yes, I do agree with that. You, you do have to get, you've got to do that. Hashtag sport life. Hashtag sport life, totally. Yes, no, you. <laughs> Maxie, that's not what you say, darling. You don't just. <laughs> say. I've been sub to Gizzy for a while now. Hey, I'm allowed to get told, and I'll own it when I get told, because I, I, I agree wholeheartedly with the statement, and I did say that incorrectly for sure, but I wasn't sure of the terms of the giveaway, which is why I said correct me if I'm wrong if the subbing is what is not needed. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll own that I said it wrong totally, but, you know, correct me on the details for the giveaway, please, Gizzy, because I know that, albeit you don't subscribe to someone for free shit, you subscribe for content, there are amazing people involved with the giveaway that you have got going, and I want to show support for all of you guys by getting all of our audience to come and support you guys as well. So that's where mine Especially when one of like the main sponsors that you're talking about is also one of the sponsors of our show. Um, right there. Adore E-Liquid. Dawn is amazing. We love her. Mm. So that's her mind. So, yeah. Ooh, darling. Yum. I've got, oh, I've got all these smells going on with all the mods with, <laughs> underneath my nose. <laughs> on the smells. <laughs> what do you smell? I smell these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it was grape energy going straight up my nose and then there was a side of, of um, what's that one? The creamy cream actually just came in on the side. Your your juices are coming over to say, hey, convey me. Joe's Cloudhouse, guys, this has been a really yummy range to try. It's been brilliant. We have some amazing solid juice makers in New Zealand. For a I need country to get, that is so tiny. Yeah, we really do. I need to get me a Joe's Cloudhouse hoodie, Joe. Like actual. Hook me up, Al. <laughs> I I'd rock that. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, this is good. Okay. I've built up so, quite a collection of caps. I'm 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 quite Chaps, I, I, I want more, more caps, Dude, more snapbacks. Do we have anything else for the fam this evening, honey? Oh gosh, no, I, I, I don't have anything else to add. We, we've tried the juices, we've loved them. I'd have to say psycho syrup is probably my favourite at the moment. That's long, long. Um, yeah, given the details of the of the competition, so if you hear both Psycho Sarah and Deep Nuts have surprised me tonight, I must say, well done. Deep Nuts was definitely a surprise. I was very surprised by that. Yeah, Psycho Sarah and Shorty's boat is highly recommended. Okay, who makes Jackfruit Jungle? Mark Seedler. All right, guys. So and I am expecting another order from him very, very soon. <laughs> I the Jack. Um, I am feeling for it right now. I am feeling for it so bad. 
Like, uh, even though I've had all of like, these different types of juices, Jackfruit Jungle is my all day, every day vape. I love that stuff. And I haven't had it for months, so now I'm feeling for it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've just got to be patient and wait until Mark's freed up and can send my order to me because I made a. I sent him an, uh, a message asking if I could make an order with him, I think, on Friday. And, uh, yeah, the poor dude's been hella busy with his daytime job. So, um, yeah. He ended up telling me that he'll try and send it out to me on Thursday. So we'll see how he goes. But I'm hoping to get it by the weekend. So we have been asked, what is our personal favourites of the whole line? whole line um, yeah juice the joe's cloud house whole line so including what we tried last week oh, yeah they asked me to remember something from last week <laughs> i'm having a hard time trying to remember yesterday <laughs> um hmm hmm all I remember from last week is pink bits. <laughs> um, I I have lots of favourites actually. So I I am I have probably more on Joe's line than I thought I would. And real favourites that I know I'm solidly going to vape oh, yeah. in from my last rotation. Week, Queen's custard was very good. I enjoyed that. Um. I'm, I'm having to pull the bottle of, bottles of juice out of the bottle that these juices came in. Um, pink Lady, Pink Lady, I think, I think I enjoyed Pink Lady. I might have to try and vape that again. Uh, Tropical Paradise is very good. Yeah, there's definitely a number, number of really good juices that um, from Joe's line. Um, but to try and pinpoint a favourite from all of them, I don't yeah, know. I don't know either. I really like Kiwiana Milkshake from last week. Uh, I really like, really like Sherbinator, but I knew I was going to like that one anyway. Sherbet's totally up my alley. Um, and I was really surprised with the awesomeness of Pink Bits. Yeah, we're just going to call it Pink Bits now, Joe. Pink Lady's out the window. <laughs> um, so those three from last week are probably my top faves. But everyone knows I've got a, quite a sweet tooth, you know, quite a fruity candy tooth. So I'm sure my answers aren't surprising anybody. Obviously, out of tonight's range, uh, Grape Energy, which I've already had before, um, I dig that, totally digging it. That's up my alley as well. But to be quite honest, the tonight's favourite that's actually taken me quite by surprise is going to be the blend of the two of them together, of Psycho Syrup and these Nuts. Yeah. and. I'm not saying to make this blend as a juice, Joe, because obviously not everyone's going to like those together and that'll be different balances of each of these. But these are both surprised me, pleasantly surprised me, and aren't profiles I would normally pick out of a line to purchase. They're just not my go-to type of vibe. And like I say, pleasantly surprised uh, separately and together. Kudos, Joe. I'm, yeah, it's been a great fucking tasting. Like it's good, solid, all-round range, like broad. And, you know, like there is something for everybody. There's some bakery. There's some dessert. There's some fruity. There's some candy. Um, you've got your sweet. You've got your heart. Like creamy creams, the custard. There is something for everybody. I, I, it's a good range, nice uh, across the board. Solid, yeah, I fully solid, agree. solid. 
Big ups, bruv. Kudos. And, um, it's yeah. always good to have a good mixture or, or a variety, should I say. A good variety of juices, especially if you're supplying juices to the public. Um, you need a little bit of something for everybody. Um, and to have that variety in your line, and it's excellent. It's all excellent. But yeah, psycho syrup and, and these nuts. Um, psycho huh. syrup, I knew I was going to enjoy that because I like caramel. Um, yeah. I love caramel. Um, these nuts was probably the one that I was going to be like, oh, do, 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 we, do we do that last? Or, so yeah, it, it's definitely surprised me. I can understand why people buy it. Alexis just said that she often drips those two together as well. So it's, it's, it must be, it's a common, yeah, it's a, obviously people are already seeing that combo or have accidentally tried it themselves and have enjoyed it and good to know. I mean, like, we wouldn't have discovered that mix if we hadn't have particularly put them in that order to try them uh, in, you know, on our devices on the work tonight. So that, that just happened by accident, but we always love it when those happy accidents happen. Mm. Um, <laughs> We've had that a couple of times with other vendors as well. Mm. Um, yeah. But that's the reason you've got like multiple juices order. to try, you don't have multiple devices. Yeah. Um, that's why we pick a flow so that we can work it with the wicking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we tend to try and do like the fruity stuff first and then we kind of work into like the desserts and then the others that come after that. So um yeah, it, it was amazing. I'm so glad that we got to showcase your juice on the show there, Joe. It's great. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Um We love all our vendors. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Do, uh, Doljo, do, oh my god, <laughs> I'm starting to get tongue tied now. Doljo, as there's actually three different Joes out in the chat right now, that's why I say it like that. Um, she just said, if, if we go back on my reaction from last week, she would have said that my favorite was Sherbinator. <laughs> Quite possible, <laughs> I'd probably believe that too because, yeah. You, you did like a double take sort of oh, like back up and you were like, wow. I knew I was going to love it, but it did take me by like, oh, how you surprised. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, there are several across this line that have my attention and that's always awesome. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. I see your comments on the comp coming in, guys. That's wicked. Seven more days. You guys can enter the NZ crew. Two packs up for grabs from Joe's Cloudhouse that we'll announce on the show next week. And I think we will end it a bit early because it has been a late one tonight and we'll do a little bit of an after party so some of the fans can come and hang and say hi if they so wish. Yeah, it's been a long ass past day for me. Yeah, that for me. And um, as you guys know, all the usual jam, our links are all down in the description. Oh, Kyle! <laughs> been scrolling on the screen the whole show and Nadia and Kyle just rocked in we were just about to roll it up guys yeah, we're just about wrapping up the show we just finished tasting the last five bottles of juice from Joe's Crowd House and uh if you guys haven't tried them already <laughs> you need to try them they're, they're very solid solid good range of juices there it's excellent get these nuts in you <laughs> <laughs> so thing is we just had some more crew rolling right at the end um i'll go over those details one more time seven days left to enter the competition guys go back to last week episode 59 on. onto part one and enter in the hashtag cloud kiwiana. This is a competition for the NZ Vape Fam only. Um, although Joe does ship internationally, crew. And uh, yeah, two winners will be announced next week. Both pack, oh, each pack is for 550 mils. So you get to pick five flavors off the line, and we will draw that next week. So yeah, go back to last week. Episode 59, part one, and put your entry on there. That is the video where the comments will be taken for that draw next week. So 
big loves to all of y'all. We are going to roll it out, even though some crew just rocked in. We will throw out the Zoom link into the chat in a few minutes, and you guys can come say hey for an after party if you want. Um, research it, guys. Inform yourselves so you can educate others, and then you can advocate out there truthfully. Keep it real. We love yous. We're going to go out on some clouds and come back next week and say hi, guys, because we're going to be doing our first mod review on the Kangatech AKD56 5-bat mod, which is the first out in the industry. So come back next week and check it out. Our show will be all about this mod. Keep it real. Loves to fam across the globe. And uh, we'll be back hopefully. I'll let you guys know on our Facebook page, but hopefully normal time again next week. Do keep an eye on our Facebook page for those updates because our times do change sometimes. And Megs has been working. So just mm. keep an eye out, guys. Just keep an eye out. So big loves, and we'll see you all next week. Ta-ta, y'all. Give the fan the clouds. You know what? I'm going to switch mods now because now after having that psycho syrup, I want that. Yum. Oh, it didn't quite work. You're so clouded out. Look at you. I'm getting dry over here. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. I can't see my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye now. See you later.